I'll see you later. Sonny. Thank you. He taught Stone to read. But it went so far beyond that. He taught him how to see things differently. How to see himself differently. So it just felt right. On so many different levels. For you to have his class. Thank you. I'm going to keep these on my desk. As a reminder of Stone. And to remind me of my responsibilities. So, tell me what you've been doing with yourself. I guess I'm just getting ready for the rest of my life. <laughs> the rest of your life? Is that all? I wrote a letter to Yale asking them to be admitted at the fall semester. It was so weird, asking them to reactivate my application for the class at 2000. It's like the future snuck up on me when I wasn't looking. I'm not so sure I'm ready for all that. I know. We only have five years and two weeks until the millennium. I look at time so differently now, Kevin. Is that reaction to your losing stone, or...? To your HIV status? It's both. I need time to let things in and accept them and then start to deal from a good and centered place. That's my plan between now and next fall. <laughs> That's good. Then what? To learn everything that I can. I think, I think pre-med, I think research. But maybe that's just more reaction. You'll know. What else? To stay healthy and... and have fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, I applaud both those goals. And then when I'm finally educated, not that anyone ever really fully is, I want to do something that can make a difference in this world. And then somehow at the same time just make some sense of why I'm carrying this virus. I understand. Oops. I'm interrupting. No, 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 no. It's okay. I was just telling Kevin about reapplying to Yale. And I was just about to tell Robin what an enlightened institution it is. I think you'll find a lot of support there. Right. Hope so. Well, I'll see you both tonight. All right. Oh, good. So you are coming. Yes. yes. Good, good, good. Congratulations. Thank you. I'll see you tonight. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Crib. I don't know if she's going to sleep in there. Every time I've laid her down in it so far, it's like a circus. She looks at me like I'm Bozo the Clown. You think it's the hair? <laughs> I'm no authority figure. You look sleepy, baby. I'll we'll give it a try. Yeah. Let's. Oh, well, thank you. Let's let Mary Poppins deal with this, okay, sweetie? Oh, Come on. Oh, can I share that with you? Yeah. Is this the same guy who f found it impossible to relate to anybody under the age of 12? It's been 25 years. Give him some credit. For what? Being nice to other people's kids? Hey, here's an idea. Why don't you drop a couple of grandkids on him and see if he gets that right? Thanks, but no thanks. You know something? I, I don't think I'm gonna enjoy hanging out here like one of the paying customers. As long as my name's over the door, you ain't a paying customer. You're a little wired today, aren't you, dude? Yeah, well, you know, I'm just trying to stay cool. But I, uh, I feel like the other shoe's about to drop. Hey, Mike, I don't know what you did back there, but Lulu's sleeping like a baby. It worked. Hey, cowboy. Uh, what's with the coin? 
Well, I'm trying to get back what I charged on your credit card, and my savings is a little low. I'm doing whatever I can to recoup, you know? Uh-huh. What are you doing? Well, let me in on this. I'm always, uh, looking for an angle. Watch this. <laughs> okay, some current those. I want you to pick any card. I'll bet you a buck I can guess what it is. I was running that con before you were born. Yeah, and I taught him. Well, you watch out, Mike. You're my next victim. <laughs> Come on, pick a card. All right, all right, all right, all right. What am I holding? Five of diamonds. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> See, just because you've been doing it longer doesn't mean you've been doing it better. Hey, show a little respect. All right, now it's time to use my deck. No problem with me. All right. Yeah. I'm fine. Oh, for Rinto's deck, buddy. There you go. <clears throat> Suck on that deck. I'm going to pull this thing. Go for it. la di da di da <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> Double or nothing. Two of clubs. Damn. <laughs> you owe me three bucks. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Can you break a hundred? You like quarters? Put it on his tab. <laughs> the kid is good, Luke. Yeah, I know. I know. Man. And who are we currently running this scam on? Anybody who's dumb enough to play. That's my boy. Hey, hey, hey. Hi, everybody. Hey. Hello. Ah, buenas tardes, senorita. ¿Qué pasa? No mucho. Acabo de regresar de la escuela. ¿Ya hiciste tu tarea? Oh, no, todavía. Pero, lo, are. Pronto. Look at this kid. Double threat, a bilingual card shark. Yeah. I'm so, telling you, I'm going to retire in the countryside south of Madrid on the backs of any sucker willing to pick a card. <laughs> okay. Can you guys, uh, excuse me for a minute? Yeah. Okay. Lay it on. If you're doing it because of me, don't. Because I am looking forward to tonight. I just don't understand how you can go out there and celebrate. After everything you've lost. First stone, now the club. Sonny, you're acting, you're pretending everything's okay when it's not. Yeah, you make it sound like I got nothing left. Okay. If you want to act like nothing's wrong, fine. No. Uh. I intend to have a good time tonight. Last thing I want to do is hide myself in a room. Try this. Uh, I got the last lab on Luke. Lucy is his new partner now. <laughs> I see. You're going to be tough about this. No, no, I'm not tough. Cool. There's a, there's a difference. Tell me again what you learned in Brooklyn. What's the credo? Never let them see you sweat? Number one cardinal rule. I'm starting to understand the lessons you learned on the street. Yeah. What else you starting to understand? <laughs> Sonny, don't ask unless you really want to hear it. Mm. Dígame. I understand you're a brave man watching everything you've worked for unravel before your eyes. Let's assume you're right. I have no moves to make right now except to wait. A man like you. A man who's used to taking action. Come on, Sonny, you can't be comfortable with that. I'm not good at waiting, but the, the, the comfortable thing about having your back against the wall is you get a full view of the room. 
you can see who's coming after you. They'll come after you. They'll never get you. You will always stay on top. Yeah, well, I'm not feeling particularly heroic at the moment. All of this is so unnecessary. Please don't forget who's responsible for this.